Hey everybody, boxing fans, I'm Miguel Maravilla. It is Tuesday, June 23rd, 2020. It is fight day. We have a fight tonight and we also have a world title on the line tonight. Yes, it's a world title fight tonight. It's uh, the first world title fight since boxing's return as well as its shutdown. As we have uh, WBA super flyweight champ, Andrew Maloney. He'll be taking on uh, Texas is Joshua Franco. That takes place tonight on ESPN from the MGM Grand. 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 Pacific. So that should be some pretty good action tonight. We have a good, uh, good solid uh, co-feature as well as some pretty good prospects that will be showcased. So make sure you guys tune into the, the action. The will feature heavyweight Adam Stewart with a record of 8-0, one draw, five knockouts, taking on Helaman Olguin in a scheduled six-rounder. Look for the heavyweight Adam Stewart to go out there and possibly score the knockout. As uh, Stewart looking to showcase himself tonight. In a junior welterweight fight between undefeated Miguel Contreras, 10-0, six knockouts from Bakersfield, taking on Rolando Vargas, 5-0, five, five knockouts. This is a uh, scheduled six-rounder. This is perhaps the matchup of the night on the uh, undercard. Both undefeated. Both have a uh, you know television fight. So they're looking to make the most out of it. They're looking to make a big splash in this TV opportunity. This one is pretty tough to call. We shall see how this one goes. This one's a toss-up. Then you have Joseph Bless Hands Adorno. He'll be taking on Alexis Del Bosque. Adorno, undefeated, 14-0-1 with 12 knockouts. Del Bosque, 17-5, 9 knockouts. This is a 8-rounder in the lightweight division. Look for Adorno to stop Del Bosque, perhaps, uh, maybe sometime between the 4th, 5th round. I don't see this fight going no more than 4 rounds, 4 or 5 rounds, that's for sure. Then we have the co-feature. As former world champion Christopher Diaz with a record of 25 to 16 knockouts, is taking on former world title challenger Jason Sanchez with a record of 15 and 1, 8 knockouts. This is a scheduled 10 rounder in the featherweight division. For Sanchez, he uh, came up short in his uh, decision loss to WBO, then WBO featherweight champion Oscar Valdez. Diaz, the former world champion, he uh, is 2-1 in his last three fights. Both fighters in this one are going to look to uh, make the most of it. Looking to get another crack at a world title. I like Jason Sanchez in this one. I expect Sanchez to, to go out there and, and give it a good showing. Look for Sanchez to come out with a decision win. Then in the main event, you have Australia's Andrew Maloney with a record of 21-0, 14 knockouts, taking on Joshua Frankel, 16-1, two draws and eight knockouts. Maloney has won four consecutive fights, all by knockout, winning the WBA interim world title in November. As he stopped Alton uh, Derry on cuts following uh, eight rounds of a uh, one-sided fight. As for Joshua Franco, you know, Franco himself, he's uh, seen a lot of him in his uh, early days. Some of his early fights fighting at the Belasco Theater in Los Angeles. Very technical fighter, very uh, quick-handed. This fight is is a toss up. Everyone expecting Maloney, but you know Franco has a has a real good shot at this. 
we shall see what happens here. But I'm going to go with Maloney on this one. Uh, I just feel Maloney has the more international experience, more pedigree to him. So there you have it going on tonight. 